Hey guys, as always, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Sugar Pills, your dose of inspiration to elevate your mind, body, and soul. And today we are going to be talking about five ways to know that you're ready for a healthy relationship. So I got this request via Instagram. So if you're not following me, uh, be sure to head over to my Instagram account at Candy Washington and DM me, comment, and just let me know what you want me to discuss on the podcast. Always happy to take um, listeners and viewers' requests. So I got this request to talk about, you know, love life or romantic relationships. So just to be fully transparent, one boundary that I have is that I don't ever really discuss my personal love life on social media. I don't really do those like couple pics and hashtag couple goals and, you know, either, you know, ranting and raving or complaining about my significant other or where I'm at with that person. That's just a boundary that I have for myself and my relationship. So I just want it to be very upfront and transparent about that. However, I am so excited to share some of my insights and observations and things that I've learned along the way via my own relationships and obviously other people and I am just really excited to share them with you guys. So the first way to know that you are ready for a healthy relationship is to first be complete on your own. And by complete, I don't mean perfect because remember, perfection is never the goal. Completion is. So to be a complete person means holistically you feel strong and secure. So when it comes to your career, maybe you're not at the level you want to be at, but you're happy and fulfilled and you're still striving. You know, when it comes to, you know, your body and self image, you know, maybe you don't have the perfect body. Nobody does, but you're healthy. You have healthy eating habits. You have healthy um, sleeping habits and healthy um, ways that you view yourself. You know, you So it's just really to be complete on your own, knowing your self-worth, knowing your self-value, having your own goals in place, having your own standards and boundaries in place is really, is a really great indicator that you're ready to be that with another person. Because remember, you're not looking for someone to complete your life. You're looking for someone to complement your life. So you want to make sure that you are complete and whole on your own before you go out and try and get a partner. Because you don't want someone to complete you. Because if you're coming from the mindset that I'm looking for a partner to complete me, what you're really saying is that I feel incomplete, I feel not whole, or I feel broken. And that doesn't mean that you have to be every single day, I'm amazing and I'm great and everything is good and I'm this complete awesome person. Now I'm ready for a relationship. No, because you don't want to also be like delusional either. You want to have a healthy dose of self-awareness as a complete person. That means embracing your imperfections. That means knowing that you can still strive and have ambition and you want more and different things for your life but you still have a foundation of fulfillment and happiness and wholeness so it's not striving to be the perfect person it's striving to be a complete person knowing that you're still on your journey the second way to know that you're ready for a healthy relationship is that your self-love game is on point This means that you have a really great self-care system, whether it's knowing when to take time for yourself, it's knowing how to create healthy boundaries for yourself, it's learning how to communicate effectively with other people, it's learning how to um, ask for help when you need it, and it's also learning how to Be so solid and secure on who you are, what your value is, and what you have to offer that if someone comes into your life that doesn't meet those standards, you're not just going to, you know, take that relationship on or take that person on because you're not coming from a place of neediness or desperation. Like, oh, I need this person. I'm desperate for a relationship. I don't feel good about myself unless I have someone or, you know, I'm looking for another person to make me feel better about myself so my friends think I'm doing better than I than I am because they're all in relationships or whatever it is it's really saying I love myself I'm complete within myself I know 
tools and ways to feel great about myself and to self-soothe myself, I'm good and I'm secure and I'm looking for someone to add value to that, not to give me the value, if that makes sense. So you want to make sure that your self-love game is on point. You have a very good self-care routine in in place. You know what your value is. You know what your worth is. You know how to take care of yourself first so that you are complete and full before you try to give to a partner. And this is a great way to know that the other person is compatible with you because if you have healthy boundaries, if you have standards, if you are communicating effectively and though and that person isn't respecting those boundaries, isn't meeting your standards, isn't, you know, giving you what you're giving them in a way that's reciprocal. So you're both giving and taking from each other in a way that you're both still full then those are indicators that that person isn't the right person for you and you're not compatible. And another way to know whether or not you're compatible with someone is Mm -hmm. do what they value align with what you need in a partner. So what I mean by this is do they value honesty? Because I need my partner to be trustworthy. So if I need my partner to be trustworthy, I need my partner to value honesty. So you want to make sure that what you need in a partner aligns with what they value as a person. If I need my partner to be committed to me and our family, then I need a partner that values family and values stability and values ambition. If I want my partner to be able to provide for us and I'm providing as well, then I need my partner to value to, to, to value ambition, to value, and to value those same things. So it really just boils down to making sure that the things that you need aligns with what your partner values. Uh, the third way to know that you are ready for a healthy relationship is you're actually over your ex. I see a lot of people jump into relationships with people because they are trying to get over their ex. They're not actually over them, kind of a rebound situation. Or they are trying to replace their ex. They just want someone in their life to feel to be just a warm body at night, to be their plus one, you know, to to kind of have that buffer and shield because they're not you know, confident and secure enough to stand on their own, they're looking for their partner or for somebody else to sort of be their their shield, to be their social shield, because they don't want to be the single one in the group. Or, you know, they want to make their ex jealous, or they want to use this person to get over their ex. So make sure you're actually over your ex in a healthy way. Give yourself time to heal. Give yourself time to you know, get that person out of your system, you know, forgive yourself for the relationship, forgive the other person for their relationship, and just take time to get back to you and your center and make sure that you're healed and you're good. Because if you're not, you're going to bring those same dysfunction, the same problems, the same energy to your next relationship. So until you really clean up the mess of your past relationship, you're just going to keep dirtying up your current relationship. So you really want to make sure that you are over your ex in a healthy way and you're not using somebody else for your own, you know, gain to get over your ex or just to have someone to be with. The fourth way to know that you're ready for a healthy relationship is that you're seeking a partner, not a therapist or a partner or a parent rather. So make sure that you are in a place where you really want a partner in your life. This means that everything you're looking for somebody else, you see that you already have it in yourself. So you guys are complimenting complimenting each other and you're actually looking for a partner in life. You're not looking for someone just to put your woes on. You're not looking for someone to, you know, help you get your act together. You're not looking for someone to take care of you in that sense. You're not looking for someone to listen to you talk about your ex for five hours and whatever it is. You're actually looking for a person to be your partner in life and grow. By a partner, I mean someone who is your support system, someone who really, you know, encourages you, but they don't scold you. You're looking for, 
you know, sometimes people are like, oh, like my wife, my husband, my whatever it is, nags me and it's this, this and this. Like, but are you putting them in the position to nag you? You know, are you doing your part? Because you always want to make sure that you are taking accountability and responsibility for the health of your relationship. So if you are finding fault in your partner, then you also have to look at, well, what am I doing to contribute to the problem? So you really want to make sure that you're in a place where you're looking for a partner in life to be, you know, your ride or die, to be your partner, you know, to be your you know, your partner in crime with what you're trying to achieve when you're trying to up level in life. You're not looking for your partner to be your therapist. Yes, you want them to be your confidant, but you know, if you need a therapist, go to therapy. You know, if you are looking for someone to be your parent, we're all adults, you know, maybe learn how to parent yourself and take self responsibility for yourself and really look to your partner to be the person that is with you and also be a partner. So you're not just looking for someone to come in and, you know, support you and be there for you and help elevate you, but you're in a position to support them and elevate them and help them as well. So it's a true symbiotic partnership and one person doesn't feel drained or used and another person doesn't feel like they're just getting everything for free without pouring back into the relationship. The fifth way to know that you are ready for a healthy relationship is that you have a strong support system, whether it's friends, a family, um, and spiritual. I think it's really good to have, you know, it's sugar pills. It's not about any particular religion. I'm not saying that I'm not preaching or promoting any particular religion. But what I am saying is that I believe it's really good to have a healthy relationship with whatever higher power you believe in, whether it's God, source, universe, energy, whatever it is. I think that it's really good to have that relationship with something that is in and of you, but greater than you to really lean on in a relationship. And I also think that it's great. So then you know how powerful you are, how supported you are and how loved you are in and of yourself. And you're not looking for a person or a partner to make you feel that way because you already do um and it's also good to have a good support system of you know your chosen family your friends make sure you have really good friends in your life that you know will be honest with you about you your partner that you can confide in I'm not saying you know gossip about your relationship to all of your friends because that can also be detrimental you know use discernment make sure you know Who are my friends that I can really go to and be honest with for honest feedback who love and support me and want me to have a healthy and happy relationship? So it's not about bashing your partner to your friends. It's not about gossiping. It's not about sharing every, you know, intimate detail of your relationship because there are some things that you're going to want to keep sacred in the relationship. That's just between you and your partner. You know, the, that relationship is 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 holy and beautiful in and of itself and there should be things that are sacred within your relationship so you want to make sure that yes you keep the intimacy and the sacredness of the relationship but do have some core friends that you can go to you know to really talk to things talk things through with you know have a great therapist if you need that that you can talk to and work through your relationship with you know if you have family members that you're close to and truly trust because sometimes family isn't always the best people to go to for you know relationship advice you know some indicators of people who to go to are they in a relationship that you admire you know, or are they a person whose advice you admire? You know, you could go to your single friends for a relationship. Just because someone is single, that doesn't mean that they don't have great advice and guidance when it comes to relationships. You know, maybe they're smart to be single, you know, better to be happy and whole, complete and fulfilled on your own than miserable and fronting and not at peace in a relationship just for the sake of saying you're in a relationship. So don't discount your single friends. They too have great knowledge and gems. So make sure that you have a really good support system in place with your higher power that you can go to with your friends, with your family. So you have a good support system. So you're, so when a partner comes along, you're not looking to this one person to be your everything and all. So just to quickly recap, here are five ways to know that you're ready for a healthy relationship. The first is to be complete on your own, but not perfect. 
Uh, your self-love and self-care game is on point. You know how to take care of yourself. You know how to self-soothe. You know how to set healthy boundaries and have standards and really work on effective, non-defensive communication skills. You are over your ex. You're not looking for a rebound or someone to replace your ex or just, you know, some arm candy plus one action. And you're seeking a partner. You're not looking for a therapist. You're not looking for a parent. You're actually looking for someone to complement your life and to, you know, really live this life together. And lastly, you have a strong support system, whether it's your higher power, your spiritual life, your friends, and your family. So if you liked this episode, I'm pretty sure that you also might like my book, Sugar Pills, 10 Days to Waking Your Inner Power, which you can find links to in the show notes. And you can also uh, purchase it on Amazon and at Amazon Kindle. Again, that's Sugar Pills, 10 Days to Waking Your Inner Power. And as always, find me on Instagram at Candy Washington, at Twitter at Candy Washington, and uh, head over to my website, candywash.com for more info. And if you find value in my podcast, which I really hope you do, be sure to rate, subscribe, and to comment. And don't forget to share, 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 share this episode, share the podcast, and also share your thoughts with me. If you have any questions or requests, be sure just to shoot me an email or a DM and I will get it back to you. So thanks guys. And I will see you next time on Sugar Pills.